This is a bad situation. You want to try to turn your calculator on and it's going nowhere because it's got a dead battery, flat battery. No problem, let's get to it. You might be thinking, all that's needed is a button cell battery, well actually two pieces, A76, 1.5 volt. Okay, it also says 110 milliamp hours. Hmm, yeah, let's get to it. You might be thinking, let's get the screwdriver. However, <clears throat> the battery here is having a, a slow explosion here. This is bulging out here. That's delaminating this glued on uh, faceplate. So uh, it's, it's possible that the rusty innards of the calculator here where the battery leaked out are uh, permanently damaged. So let's take a look at it, see what kind of mayhem is inside. Screws are coming out easy, so, so far so good. Maybe even save them, but I don't think so. This is what happens when the manufacturer doesn't make accessing the battery easy at all. You're gonna have to repurchase your items maybe multiple times if this keeps happening. Twist, turn, whatever. Okay, so let's have a look at the battery situation here. Yeah, the batteries are definitely puffy. They are not lying flat anymore. Let's see. Do we have corroded anything? And ouch. This is the this is the faulty battery. Sometimes this happens. Let's see what brand this is. Uh that brand there whatever you see on it mm -hmm. yeah okay so this is what the calculator came with and this is how this piece of garbage very nearly destroyed the calculator the terminals here are only slightly corroded this one can be taken out maybe with a pair of pliers and here is the other one so they both failed the same way this one to a lesser degree same brand of course it's not flat on the top either either one of them so this piece of metal here can be taken out somehow and the, something like that and cleaned there and then put back in yeah, with just a little bit of wiping like so there catastrophe averted okay so that can go back in and yeah maybe that little bit of leak that electrolyte here, whatever, that can also be cleaned up a little bit, whatever, or wiped out easily. So, catastrophe averted, a $10 or whatever, $20 calculator saved, but really, this shouldn't be happening. So let's see if these two industrial failures have caused permanent damage to the calculator. The electrical components are as clean as they get. And very simply, I have two batteries that promise to fit. Let's see how easily this can be done. Okay, that's not too painful. Uh, there might be a fight with this packaging. No, that was okay. Let's see if this whole contraption turns on now. Okay, let's try something five times six. Okay, it works. But this was a, a lot more painful than it should have been. 
Let's see if putting the two halves together is easy enough. Mm, no, it looks like it has to start at the bottom here to hook the tabs together. Yeah, something like that. Let's try again. 45 divided by 9 equals. Yeah, okay, it works. The housing of this calculator is made of well chosen plastic that is flexible enough to obviously withstand this kind of uh, damage. So that's a win for the calculator, its materials and its design. And of course, that's a fail on the choice of battery.